Video games. Gaming. <laughs> Electronic games. <laughs> What? No, 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 no! Okay, funny clap time. I've been playing video games for all my life. I can remember coming home from a long day after a grade, grabbing an ice cold Coke, and sitting down on my crappy Lenovo laptop to play Minecraft Skywars for hours on end. I've been thinking a lot recently how video games have affected me and will affect me in my life. So this video is just me sharing my experiences and my love for the hobby. I can't pin down the first game I ever really did play, but it was probably some iPod game when I was like four. But the first game to really get me into this hobby was like many others, Minecraft. Freaking wind, can this stop? Minecraft is probably my most played game. Ever since I started playing Pocket Edition in like 2013, I was hooked. I love the creative liberty the game gave me. I couldn't wrap my head around how I could do whatever I wanted. From there, I found out about the Minecraft community on YouTube, and this was my first taste of a true gaming community. Let me tell you, Minecraft in the 2010s hit different. I'm talking Dan TDM, LD Shadow Lady, Captain Sparkles, Sunny D, Stampy Longhead. It, it was great, I loved it. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for the Minecraft kids now that have to watch. Uh, and my addiction was only fed when I got a laptop and I was able to play on servers and I could do even more stuff. Let me tell you, I was a god on Hypixel Skywars. No one could stop me. I was, I was insane. Through Minecraft, I found out about other games such as Skylanders and Geometry Dash. <laughs> Nothing else at all. No, I would never play any other games and no no no, uh, no no naturally with this hobby i started talking to other people about it so i met other like-minded people who thought flashing from skylanders was also a hottie looking back video games are how made some of my greatest friends and that's part of the reason i love this hobby these games that are weird for some could bring so many people together and the community built around video games is great i love it but you know there's always some weirdos out there I don't think this point was any more prominent than COVID. I felt like the relationships I made with video games were just kind of gone all of a sudden. But I couldn't be farther from the truth. This was the time I started using Discord a lot more often. Funny enough, the big server with all my friends in it started as an Among Us server. Among Us, a game about lies and deceit, turned into one of the most bonding games I've ever played. Every day, for almost the whole day, we would just be in a call just to be in each other's virtual company. I can remember all the late night Among Us, Scribble.io, Animal Crossing, and of course, Minecraft sessions. It was also around this time I decided to expand my gaming taste a bit. <sighs> Undertale, Hollow Knight, Celeste, Stardew Valley, Cuphead, Little Nightmares, Phasmophobia, Valorant, Benny and the Ink Machine, Gidget Impact, Super Luminal, Omori, One Shot, Spelunky, Crab Game, Osu, Five Nights at Freddy's, Golf with Their Friends, and so much more. I love all these games. I felt like I had been open to a whole new world to video games, and I've just been deprived of it from all this time. I do have my friends to thank for this though. They are the ones that got me into all these new games. If it wasn't for them, I'd still probably be playing. <coughs> Fortnite. I spent so much money on time and video games within the past few years, and honestly, I don't regret it. The joy I get from playing these games is great, and it's even better if I get some friends on board. Although, I find it a bit harder now to continue games. It feels like something is holding me back, I'm not sure what it is. And it seems I always fall back on the same games, like Minecraft, Osu, and Valorant. I love to find and buy new games, but it feels rare now to be completely immersed in the world it's wanting to show me. I feel a certain sadness looking through my Steam library and not wanting to play the games I paid for months ago. I suppose this ties in the whole trend that video games aren't fun anymore, and I agree. Even some of the games I love are hard to play. It doesn't feel right, it's hard to describe. It's almost like I already used up all the fun for that game and I won't get that feeling back anymore. Every day I feel trapped to be on my computer. It doesn't feel like a privilege anymore, it's almost like a chore. It's part of my routine to play these games that I adored months ago, but just not anymore. But this has made me realize why I truly care about gaming.
I can't believe I'm about to say this, but it's not about the video games. It's about the friends we made along the way. The friendships I built with this hobby of pressing buttons to interact with the virtual world are incredible. I love the late night Discord calls where we're all delusional. I love the stupid server that started off for Among Us. I love these friends that I probably would never made if it weren't for video games. Getting a little personal, I've always been really introverted, so making friends was a bit easier for me. But video games seem to tear down that wall and show me so many opportunities to make friends with ease. And I believe there's a strange beauty in that. I still find it so mind-blowing how something that doesn't even exist in the physical world can make so many people come together. Of course, with having this hobby for so long, I'm known as a true gamer by many. Right there, get these stupid. Although, I'm not too fond of this title. For example, I would never go up to meet a person and say, Oh, I'm really into video games. I will never do that. That's weird. The title of gamer seems to be tarnished by the stereotype we all know and hate. You know, the real life slug that lives in their parents' basement with Cheeto dust all over their unwashed shirt. I feel like the social aspect of the gamer isn't too inviting. <laughs> I would just rather not be classified as the gamer. Especially at family gatherings when I don't really know what to say when they ask me, Oh, what do you like to do in your free time? Of course I have other hobbies, but none are as big as gaming, which sounds really great. <laughs> oh my god. I would like to share it free of judgment, but it feels like gaming is kind of looked down upon. Although this seems to be changing a little bit with the uprising of esports. Recently, I've been asked a lot more like, have you heard the new big gaming tournament? And can you believe how much money these people are making? That's crazy. The gamer title is becoming one that's a little bit more accepted, and I'm really glad this is happening. It takes an insane amount of skill and time to get really good at a game, or to even just make content about it. Nevertheless, I'll still get made fun of for wanting to play Super Animal Royale instead of going to a party. What are you going to do when you get out of high school? I hate that question more than words can describe. I would like to think I would follow down a career path that I'm passionate about, and of course still have this hobby of gaming on the side. Although, I don't think this will be the case. Gaming takes up a lot of time and money, which may not be that responsible for someone trying to make it in the world. I would hope to be able to play in my free time, but if the trend of just games not being fun anymore, what's the point? That thought's been haunting me for a while. This great hobby I've had for as long as I can remember just to be dropped because it's just not fun anymore. Maybe that's just part of growing up, not enjoying the things you did as a kid. It reminds me of a line from one of my favorite games. These are our memories together. They're a little sad now, but we should be happy that they happened. Of course, I just don't want to let go, but there may be a day in the future where I have to. I know it will never be fully gone, but the daily laughs with my friends over the games we played will be. I feel like I'd be destroying the base of the friendships that I care so much about. Although maybe the power of time would already do that for me. I don't want to take these friends for granted before it's too late. So I'll make the most of this hobby and enjoy every second of it with my friends by my side. That's all I have. Goodbye.